This is the next question, number 16. In a constant V by F induction motor drive, the slip at the maximum torque, the options are, is directly proportional to the synchronous speed, remains constant with respect to the synchronous speed, has an inverse relation with the synchronous speed, and has no relation with synchronous speed. So basically, we need to know the relationship between the maximum torque and synchronous speed. Okay, so when we talk about induction motor drive, the slip is written in terms of R2 divided by X2, where R2 is the rotor resistance and X2 is rotor reactance. And you should also know that this ratio is per phase. It's written in terms of per phase and the motor is at standstill. Now the rotor reactance can be expanded in terms of angular frequency and inductance. So X is equal to J omega L. If we place this in the ratio here, we will obtain slip equals R square R2 divided by J omega L2, where omega is the angular frequency and L is the inductance. Now further, angular frequency can be written in terms of frequency, F. So we know that omega is 2 pi F. Let's substitute that over here. We'll get slip is equal to R2 by J2 pi F L2. So according to this, the slip is inversely proportional to F. We see that here. Slip is inversely proportional to frequency. Now frequency can also be related in terms of speed. Now let's check that. Here we have synchronous speed 120 F by P. I'm sure that you're familiar with this formula here. Synchronous speed is 120 F by P. Here the synchronous speed is directly proportional to frequency. So that means frequency directly proportional to um, synchronous speed which further implies that slip is inversely proportional to the synchronous speed. So this is the final answer, which means that the right option here is, has an inverse relation with the synchronous speed, number C. I hope this has helped.